If I could have your attention, it's a little bit early, uh, but I think we've got a nice crowd here, so we'll we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'm Richard Westerberg. I'm a member of the State Board of Education, and with me is uh, Debbie Critchfield, who is also a member of the State Board of Education. I have a really easy job um, today. I just get to uh, introduce the new president of Idaho State University and let you hear from him and ask him some questions. And I'm not going to say a lot about um, Kevin other than to say uh, he's an Idaho guy. He's born and raised in Idaho, went to Idaho elementary schools, Idaho high schools, and his uh, two degrees came from Idaho universities. Um, he has a, a unique ability uh, to see vision clearly and to be able to articulate that vision. He's an innovator. And he's a great communicator, and I think you've already heard that as he's done the campus visits, and you'll hear it again today. But the part I like most about uh, Mr. Satterley isn't necessarily his ability to articulate. It's his unique skill at listening. He's an exceptional listener. He listens to understand, to learn, uh, which leads him to the ability to be very open and very transparent. It also uh, leads to his unique ability to be very inclusive in his leadership style. I hope you like that. I think that's exactly what Idaho State University needs. Uh, he will be great for this university. He'll be a great president. Uh, you'll, you'll really enjoy him and like him. But as much as I like Kevin, uh, his wife is here with him today, and she is the better part of the proposition. <laughs> uh, so, Margaret, thanks for being here. And I mean, I mean that sincerely. I think a, a first lady uh, on a university campus and in the greater Pocatello area can add a whole lot, and, and she will. So. Uh, with that, please uh, uh, join me in welcoming Kevin Satterley, the new president of Idaho State University. Thank you. I pledge to all of you right now, I'll do my best going forward to earn that. Richard, Debbie, and all the members of the State Board of Education, thank you for your confidence in me. To everyone here today, thank you. We're going to do great things. Last night, my wife, Margaret, who's sitting right over here, my wife of 26 years, thank you. Last night, my wife Margaret reminded me of a story about her mom. In 1948, her mother came over here to Pocatello from her home in Haley to start college. She went for one semester, and unfortunately, her father, who was a miner working in the Wood River Mines, passed away suddenly, and her family could no longer afford for her to go to college. For the rest of her life to this very day, she's now 88, she regrets that she only attended this institution for one semester. In fact, several times over the years, she has told me how much she loved her zoology class and how she wishes she could have studied in that field longer. But she took from her one semester at this in university that she was going to make sure her children went to college. And they did, and they became first-generation college graduates. I stand here today humbled, humbled that I am going to be working for the university that my mother-in-law spent her whole life wishing she could attend. I pledge to all of you gathered here today and all of Idaho State University, its students, its faculty, its staff and alumni, its supporters and donors and friends, that I will devote myself to the success of this institution. When I decided to apply for this position, the only position I was actively trying to get, because I wanted to come here to Idaho State University. Having worked in Idaho's higher education system for over 20 years, I know about some of the recent concerns and issues, and I want to help. I want to help resolve and move forward, 
and move past anything, anything that might hold us all back from realizing our full potential as an institution. That potential, I can appreciate, I can see it. When I was here, I could feel it. I applied here because I want to be your partner. And I want this university to be Pocatello's partner. I hope that we can come together, not from the top down, but truly come together and see the dawn of a new day, a day where we together build, where we together grow, a future where I work daily with the faculty so that we succeed and prosper. It starts here on this campus and it spreads to our branch campuses around the state. We move forward. When, when Margaret and I came over for our campus visit, Margaret and I both left with a clear sense of the passion that all of you have for this university. I will honor that passion. When I was here, I promised, first and foremost, that I would come here and build relationships, relationships with the faculty, relationships with the students and the staff and the community. I will honor that promise as well. Open communication, open dialogue, and transparency, those will be hallmarks of this administration. A steadfast commitment to empathy for the needs of our students, coupled with strong and deep relationships in our community, those will be hallmarks of this administration. A collaborative working relationship with the faculty, that will be a hallmark of this administration. Ensuring that our students have a positive and rewarding educational experience, and when they leave here, not just with those great memories, but with the certificate, degree, or credential that helps them build a better life for themselves and their families. That will be our constant and unwavering goal. We will be recruiting and retaining more students, reaching out to parts of the state where currently not enough of the population values going on beyond high school. We will build upon our research reputation. Our faculty will be, as they deserve to be, the go-to resource for expertise, advice, and research assistance. Innovation will be our future. We will build connections with business and industry, create new collaborative partnerships to benefit our students while they're here, and help them be more employable upon graduation. When we were over here for the campus visit, I promised the mayor we would work hand in hand with the city to ensure that we are doing what's best for this community. Idaho State University's already prominent role as the state's leader in health sciences education will continue and it will grow and it will expand. It will help our students in their careers and it will better ensure access to healthcare for all of Idaho. And directly to our faculty, the door to my office will be open and I am ready to listen. All of these endeavors, we will work and pursue them collaboratively with a joint vision and with mutual accountability. I will be accountable to all of you and we will all be accountable to one another. Working together, we're gonna be unstoppable. In my discussions with the State Board of Education, they and I are mutually committed to the success of Idaho State University. I have their assurance and they have mine that our mutual goal is forward progress, increased enrollment, increased community engagement, increased research, and building upon the long and proud traditions and foundations that made ISU great. This university has known great times, but its greatest times are yet to come. The State Board all of you and I are going to be deeply committed to creating that future, a future where we are all proud to say, yes, I was part of building that. 
Margaret and I couldn't be more proud to join the Bengal family. A few years ago, I was reading an article in the Smithsonian Magazine. It was several years ago. I don't remember it word for word, and I'll probably get part of it wrong. But what I remember was a discussion about whether tigers roar or growl. (laughs) Now, ultimately, it doesn't matter technically which they do, because here at Idaho State University, we know it's both. (laughs) And I know one other thing. The time is now. It is time for this state to hear this bangle roar. <laughs> Starting here in Pocatello and then branching out across the region and across the state, let them hear us. Let them hear our growl. Let them hear our roar. Roar, bangles, roar.